Hey everyone, welcome back to new content of Cybrosis. In today's video, we will be discussing about the creation of the invoices upon email. The core purpose of creating invoices upon email in Odoo boils down to automate the initial stages of invoice creations and this streamlines the overall invoicing process. So there are several advantages for creating an invoice upon emails in Odoo and especially when compared to the manual entry data. This saves the time by automating invoice creation instead of manual data entry for each email. This also reduces the risk of errors during the manual data input. So in order to manage with the um, creation of the invoices upon email, we have to set the email server, which means we have to set an incoming mail server. So we will be setting an incoming mail server, which means we have to give the company's mail uh, mail. Uh, server and uh, to that the client can actually send the uh, mail so that this uh, the mail that is received for the company will be digitalized and converted as an invoice so for that let's search for the incoming mail from uh, the home screen of Odoo so if you want to search the incoming mail server from the home screen you just need to ensure that you have enabled the developer mode and here you can see that uh, we have set the incoming mail server. You can set the name as well as the server type as POP server. And under the server and login information, we have to set up certain server information, such as the server name should be pop.gmail.com and the port number will be automatically configured once you set the SSL TSL. And we have to provide the login information, such as the username. This is the mail of the company and to which the customers uh, will send uh, the emails and we also just need to set the password which is confidential. So we have done a video regarding how to set up the incoming mail server and uh, upon uh, the um, sending of the mail from the customer, uh, we just need to create the action uh, of creating a journal because we have to create a customer invoice which means customer invoice is a type of journal. So we have to set the record of creation of a new journal. So you can set that. And uh, here we also just need to ensure that we have set the proper alias. So for that, let's move on to the um, general settings. And here you can search for alias. So here you can see that we have set the alias domain as gmail.com, which uh, you can also use different domains for uh, mail aliases. And afterwards, let's move on to the accounting module. And in the accounting module, let's go to the configuration settings. And uh, uh, we just need to ensure that we have enabled the digitization. So uh, as you just uh, drag down here, you can see document is digitization, which means you can digitize your PDFs or scan documents with OZR and artificial intelligence. So here we can set the digitizations automatically or digitize on, on, on demand only or uh, do not digitize at all. So I just need to automatically digitize this. So uh, that's why I have set like this. So once you made the changes in the configuration settings of the accounting, you can save these changes. Now, uh, let's see how uh, can we um, create an invoice upon email. So for that, let's move on to the customer uh, Gmail. Now let's see uh, how can we create an invoice upon an email. So let me give the uh, mail that is configured in the Odoo database and here we can say that we just need to attach a document. So as we just attach the document, all the details from this document will be uh, taken and uh, the digitization will happen there. And uh, you can attach that as well as you can just provide this object. So here the customer is deployed. He just need to purchase three seat uh, sofa as well as um, he would just want to purchase uh, uh, the four person desk. So you can just provide uh, the product name in as the subject. So that as we just attach the document, you here, here you can see that after the digitization, even the customer name will be also taken by the or uh, fetched uh, in Odoo and that can be visible over there. Now let's send this. Afterwards, uh, the customer is just going to place and uh, I mean, want to make an inquiry of uh, the product table, but is not attaching any documents over here. So 
I want to purchase a, a table. So let's click on send. Now let's see what happens if we just attach uh, a document in our uh, mail and uh, um, and not attaching a mail. Uh, I mean, not attaching a document in mail. So we can just find a slight difference in the invoice that is generated. Both the invoice will be generating in track state. And let's find the difference now in the Odoo database. Now let's search for the incoming mail. So here you can just search for the incoming mail and choose that. Later on, we have to fetch the data. So once we just click on fetch now, the data will be uh, configured in the Odoo database of accounting. And let's move on to the customer and choose the invoices. So here you can find the difference that two documents are created, uh, which means two invoices are created, which are in draft state. So here you can see uh, when we just attach a document in the mail that is digitized over here, which means all the details is fetched and uh, shown over here. And you can also find uh, the details over uh, here in the chapter. Here you can see a digitized document. So if you set manual digitization in the settings, then to fetch the data, you have to click on the digitized document and the digitization only happens if you have uh, the credit. If you don't have sufficient credit, it shows a message that insufficient credit and you cannot just fetch the data in the invoice lines. Now, for, as you just move on to the other invoice that is generated from the um, email, and here you can see that as we haven't attached any, um, what to say, documents, a draft invoice will be created, but there is uh, nothing to fetch there because we don't have any documents to fetch the particular documents, but we can just find this is received from uh, this mail and on the mail of the customer will be shown over here with the subject and uh, the body over here. So that's all about dealing with the creation of the invoice upon mail. So I hope this video clarifies how to uh, easily create an invoice from the email. And if you want Odoo customizations or Odoo tutorial videos, feel free to contact Cyproses as always. Stay awesome and thank you for watching the video.